Hello, and welcome to this product overview of GEMS Offshore Pile Foundation software developed by Geotechnical Engineering Modeling Software, GEMS. Geotechnical Engineering Modeling Software, GEMS, develops advanced and intuitive computer-aided design and engineering software for foundation analysis and design. GEMS Foundation Analysis Suite employs finite element modeling techniques for analysis and design of shallow and deep foundations. The Foundation Analysis Suite includes applications for analyzing beam foundations and combined footings, a comprehensive application for modeling pile foundations for land, bridge, and waterfront structures, and a specialized application for analyzing offshore pile foundations. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay abreast with our product offerings, demos, technical talks, and other informational videos. Commonly adopted offshore platforms are of jacket type and are mostly supported by pile foundations. The pile foundation designed for these structures should safely transmit the loads through the subsoil strata beneath the seabed. The design of the foundation should meet the serviceability and safety requirements under operational and severe storm conditions. The main types of loads to which the piles are subjected to are the axial, compressive, tensile loads, lateral loads, and moments. The offshore pile foundation analysis software of GEMS provides easy to use modules for all the above analysis. The software includes modules for pile capacity estimation, axial load analysis, and lateral load analysis. Various common procedures for analysis used in practice are included in the package. Some of the salient features of this application include axial pile capacity estimation, load settlement analysis, lateral pile analysis of piles under combined lateral and axial loads. Pile wall thickness can be varied along the length of the pile. Various soil types, clay, sand, rock, and site conditions such as cover can be taken into account in the analysis. Simultaneous analysis up to eight loading scenarios. Loading may consist of axial loads, lateral loads, and lateral moments. Static and cyclic loading of the pile can also be incorporated for lateral analysis. Application supports generation of PY, TZ, and QZ curves based on soil properties. In addition, User-defined PY, TZ, and QZ curves can be prescribed. Pictorial representation of pile and soil layers and graphical representation of loading diagram for each load case for easy visualization of the loading. Self-weight of the pile may be included if required. Facility for prescribing pile head conditions such as lateral displacement, rotation and rotational spring. One can model pile group effect by user prescribed P multiplier, Y multiplier, and Z multiplier. One click computation and analysis of all load cases and modules. Computation is also available on a per module basis. Export of results to Microsoft Word and Excel. Software uses a graded mesh approach for lateral pile analysis along the length of the pile for better accuracy. Application supports Windows 7, 8, and 10, Mac OS, and is also available for use using a browser on the cloud. One can use SI units or 
commonly used American units such as kips and feet. Our founder and professor V.S. Chandrasekharan will share some detailed insights of the application capabilities. We shall now briefly look into the technical highlights of the three modules. Axial capacity estimation, axial pile deformation analysis, and lateral pile analysis. All the analysis take into account the soil profile and local scour conditions. An amendment requirement of 3D is incorporated for the development of full base resistance, and a minimum cushion of 3D is prescribed above weak layers to avoid punch through. The ascale capacity is the sum of shaft friction and base capacity. In clay data, the shaft friction is estimated by the following method. The unit shaft friction is estimated by the APA method in which it is expressed as T max equal to alpha times Cu, where alpha is a multiplier coefficient. Alpha is related to the ratio of undrained shear strength Cu and vertical effective stress PV dash. The higher the value of Cu by PV dash, the lower the value of alpha. The unit base resistance in clay is estimated as NC times Cu. Skempton's value of NC equal to 9 is widely popular and is used. In science data, the unit friction may be estimated by using one of the following methods. In the API 2011 method, the unit shaft friction is, is estimated as T max equal to beta into PV dash. Beta depends on the relative density of sand. User given value of beta may also be adopted. In the API 2000 K delta method, unit shaft friction is estimated as T max equal to K into tan delta into PV dash, in which K is a lateral air pressure coefficient, usually equal to 0.8, and delta is the angle of interface friction between pile and the soil. There is provision for the user to specify values of K and delta. In both APA methods, a value of limiting limiting value of shaft friction needs to be provided. Base resistance is estimated as Q max equal to PV in PV dash into NQ, where NQ is the bearing capacity factor. Values of NQ may be directly given by the user along with a limiting value of Q max. In rock strata, the unit shaft friction T max is estimated by the relationship T max equal to alpha into square root of unconfined compressive strength. Base resistance Q is estimated by the relationship Q equal to base resistance factor into unconfined compressive strength. For, layers, for the layer, values of unconfined compressive strength, alpha factor and base resistance factor need to be provided. The, the results are presented in the form of shaft shaft capacity, base capacity, total capacity curves along the pile length. The curves can help in choosing the penetration depth of piles in the location. Different diameters of piles also can be evaluated. Unit shaft friction and base resistance curves are also presented along the pile length. Axial pile deformation analysis. The pile is modeled as a structural member supported on the sides by soil represented by a series of interfacial vertical springs and at the base by a vertical spring. The side springs enable load transfer along the shaft and the base spring at the pile tip. For all the layers, the strength of these springs is obtained from the pile capacity analysis in the form of unit shaft friction T max and unit base resistance Q max. The stiffness of these springs are represented by a set of nonlinear TZ curves for each layer and a QZ curve at the pile tip. 
for soil layers nonlinear tz and qz curves are based on apa recommendation for rock layers bilinear tz qz curve curves are developed comprising an initial sloping line followed by a horizontal line the slope of the initial line is based on elastic modulus and poisson ratio and the end point is based on t max or q max from where the horizontal line starts user specified tz qz curves could also be used finite element formulation of the pile supported by tz and qz springs combined with an iterative approach is used to analyze the pile for a given vertical load on the head the results are given in the form of one a set of tz curves for each layer and qz curve at the pile tip two for a given load the results comprise of pile displacement and load distribution along the pile length by carrying out the analysis for different vertical loads where load settlement curve on the pile can be obtained lateral pile analysis analysis of the pile subjected to lateral load and moment is carried out in this module finite element based approach is adopted to model the pile and the soil support the pile is modeled as an elastic member divided into number of beam bending elements the stiffness and strength of the soil support is modeled by a series of discrete nonlinear py springs the parameter p is the lateral soil resistance per unit length of pile at a given depth and y is the corresponding lateral deflection the modeling allows continuously distributed springs along the pile length instead of lumped ones at the nodes the finite element discretization not only takes into account the specified pile maker but is also optimized for better accuracy by adopting a graded mesh along the pile length an iterative procedure based on second modulus approach is used for convergence the software can be used for developing py curves for all the soil layers also user specified py curves can be used in the analysis the following procedures are available in the software for the soil layers in soft clay layer apa nonlinear model in stiff clay layer apa nonlinear model and ries nonlinear model in sand layer apa nonlinear model in strong rock turner's bilinear model pile head conditions the following pile head conditions are available free head in which lateral load and moment can be prescribed prescribe the rotation with a lateral load rotation value of 0 represents fixed head condition prescribed rotational spring and a lateral load a vertical load can also be applied at the pile head the fem model incorporates the beam column effects the results of the analysis are presented in two parts the first part consists of a set of py curves for each soil layer under static loading conditions a set of py curves for each layer for under cyclic loading conditions for each loading case the second part results consists of lateral deflection and slope diagrams of the pile shear force bending moment and soil pressure diagram for the pile the software is available for a 30 day trial download from our website for windows and macs one can also try the online cloud version for 30 days from our website using a browser there are no analysis restrictions on the trial version after the trial period one can subscribe and continue using it for a very competitive price do visit our website for additional details on this application download the trial version or sign up for the cloud version and try it out for yourself The software is very intuitive and easy to use. You can also watch the quick start guides from this YouTube channel if you need help getting started.
There are also some example problems available for download. The links are also summarized below in this video. If you have any queries, please email us at support at gemsoftware.org. Again, like this video, share with others, and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date. Thank you for watching.